Welcome back to our 100 day spore world and today we're going to unleash the wither storm on the world. There we go. We are currently day 102 and we're about to see if the, the, the spore already attacks the, the wither storm without being even there yet. It is forming, it is healing. So what we're about to see is an angry wither storm against a giant infection. That spread it over spawn. There we go, it started. And the spore are not happy that it's eating and destroying everything around. This knight tries to get up, but nope, he can't. Now we're gonna let it run for a while and see if the spore can do anything. There's a few flying mobs around. There's a sieger over there. As long as I stay here, the wither storm will not wander around too far. It is still trying to stay near a player. Normal mobs cannot really get to the Wither Storm, which gives it a big advantage over the region. And it's just eating infected blocks. There's some mound dying. Also, the Wither Storm can start a fire, which means a lot of the fungus will just burn. But eventually, the Wither Storm will eat the blocks. There we go. The spore is reacting. There's another seizure in formation. Oh, there we go. It is stage two, and it can start to lift mobs up. Of course, these mobs will die instantly as soon as they touch the wither storm. It's just clearing every mound. There's a proto hive mine going in. Proto hive mine is tougher than it looks, but it's not enough. Oh, there's the <laughs> there's some animals. It is not looking good for the spore now, and we have stage 3. Now this version of the Wither Storm cannot regenerate, which means if the spore land a hit on it, it's gonna stay, it's not regenerating, which means it's not a one-sided battle, they can still do something. There's a couple of new mobs that are spawning right now, and I think the Wither Storm is about to go to stage 4 already. There's no ranged mob spawning so the winter storm has free rain right now no oh, it took some damage though something managed to do some damage the seizure over there is still not aware of the wither storm what is going on look at the amount of blocks that are getting absorbed right now it's like a constant flow of oh my god yeah that was it okay that, that's why that explains it holy crap and we now have a stage 4 transformation of the Wither Storm. So its health will never regenerate like I said, but now its hitbox is even bigger. So they might maybe get more damaged. And that Seizure still has no idea what's going on. He's just chilling right there with his friend having a party. While this world destroying monster just eating everything. Oh, there we go. Wait, hold on. He grabbed the Seizure. Seizure will die, or not? It just abandoned the seizure. What the heck? The seizure is attacking the Wither Storm. Was well, not enough, I think. Yep, seizure is gone. They will need another seizure, but it did some damage. There's another seizure here, which means the spore have another chance. Wait, no, wait. So they let go of the seizure at least once before going back. And the Caesar has a range attack, but it seems to do about no damage. It just like explode on its body. Yeah, it's not doing any damage. The Winterstorm is getting shot in the face by the Caesar. So it's been another in-game day, and look at that. The Spore is really trying to fight back. There's three Seizure on the way, but the Wither Storm is eating everything. The Seizures can't reach it. It's just there, and it's sickened by the Wither Sickness too. They sometimes destroy an eye, like this one here, because of their projectile, but it's not enough to do damage to the Wither Storm. In fact, I think every time they repair an eye, they gain a bit of health back as the Wither Storm is higher than it was before. Which means there's still a way the Wither Storm can heal, even though it's not supposed to regenerate. Uh oh, I think yeah, this Seizure got chosen to be lifted up. Is it gonna do any damage to the Wither Storm? Or not? Nope. Not a damage. Did you just see that? The wound burned to the seizure just as it was about to get eaten. Alright, so it's been a while, as you can see. 
But finally, there's some infected that evolved and they managed to do a bit of damage to the Wither Storm. I think these balls of poison, when they hit the Wither Storm, it deals damage. So they might be able to chip its health away. But as you can see, the Wither Storm did a lot of damage to the infection. Although infected still spawn. There we go, we've got damage. But it's not enough. The Wither Storm is healing itself slowly, but surely. So even if the infection is not really 100% gone, this thing will overpower it and destroy and eat everything. But don't go yet. Because we're not done. I want to see what happens if we infect back all of the destroyed land of the Wither Storm and look at it. It's like it was never destroyed. Well, no, not really, but you know what I mean. The infection just took over everything that was destroyed. There's lava there. There's a whole cave there. This whole area, even though it destroyed the block, it's like it never happened. Look at that. Of course, we killed ourselves the Wither Storm, but that means that if you kill the Wither Storm in an infected world, the infection will, at some point, take back everything it lost. So, that was a good experiment. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this world, since it's already really infected. If you have some idea, let me know in the comments. And as always, you're awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.